Building a better YouTube with BitChute. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with a look at some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. I know it's been a few weeks off as we went through the holidays and we are busting into a brand new year of 2017 and I hope you are doing fantastic. Much like our previous episode, I've got a bunch of headlines. And of course, everything we say and play will always be included down in the show notes. So let's get to it. It is cold out there. And our buddy Matt up in Idaho pointed us out to a story that was happening over in London. And of course, ideas spread just like we've been talking about, like little free libraries. Little free libraries coupled with space, not spikes. You've seen those spikes put around your cities to keep homeless people from laying around. What if you put a mattress on top and let people take a load off and even add in a little free library and a place to rest your rump? Meanwhile, here in Portland, the misfit Samaritans of free hot soup are not a nonprofit. They are not a 501c3. They have no organizational structure whatsoever. They are free hot soup. That's always one of the best things is not to wait for orders and not to learn how it's supposed to be. Just do it. Just go. Also, meanwhile, in Portland, we are the 10th public entity, more specifically, the Port of Portland is the 10th public entity, on the West Coast to sue Monsanto for PCB contamination. We'll continue to follow that story. And as long as we're talking cold, Cold War 2.0, but Washington was just frozen out of that new Syria peace plan between Russia and Turkey and Syria, and it was planned and executed entirely without the U.S., We were talking this morning on Your Morning Monarchy, of course, about that leaked audio with John Kerry as well. Elsewhere in Good News Next Week, and it's not always not unmitigated news, these are sometimes dark stories, Israeli soldier convicted of Palestinian manslaughter, and a little bit of pushback. Our friend Morgan Lesko tweeted about EU's highest court ruling that general and indiscriminate retention of emails by governments is illegal, and a little bit of pushback to the Snoopers Charter, or the Investigatory Powers Act. Meanwhile, back in my home state of West Virginia, DuPont was hit with a $10.5 million hit in punitive damages in the latest C8 case. Meanwhile, Hyperface is anti-surveillance clothing that blocks security cameras and facial recognition software and CCTV. We talked about this a few years ago, and it's lots of different hoods and hats and even sometimes makeup that you can wear that basically screw with the algorithms of the eyes in the sky that are trying to track and trace us everywhere we go, even though all the statistics show that it doesn't solve crime at all. So these are the fantastic ways, again, that people will constantly learn how to push back. And we'll do it sometimes with money. Bitcoin price has been soaring, of course, fueled by a lot of speculation and, of course, global currency turmoil. Or at least so says Dealbook from the New York Times. The pushback happens and the push away also happens. People removing their consent, cutting the cord, not taking part in any of this anymore. World's largest survival community comprises 575 off-grid doomsday bunkers. Now, we're still, of course, up here in the city of Peak Portland, not quite ready to dive down into a bunker, and hopefully it's not going to come to that just yet. However, thank whoever that there are people out there prepping for the food, for the web, for the connections, for ham radio, sure, all of those things. Again, I don't have the technological skills to pull off, but everybody out there, you, you, you do. And that's, again, what's so fantastic, people just taking this on their own. So let's think about this idea of going down into bunkers. As you are watching Good News Next Week, episode 42, it's our first one for the year of 2017. It is the week of January 9th, 2017. Again, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Good News Next Week grew out of New World Next Week, my long-running series with James Corbett of CorbettReport.com, where all through 2015, we ended every episode with a good news story. I took that and launched it in 2016. We turned Good News Next Week into its own series, and it's now entering its second year already. The Farmer Who Built Her Own Broadband sounds like the fantastic title of a TV movie they'll never make. Farmer Chris Condor led a broadband revolution in Lancashire, and the person who tweeted that story using hashtag Good News Next Week is our friend Ray Vahi. Now, I finally learned how to pronounce his name correctly, and we've mentioned him many, many times on Media Monarchy. I learned that when I talked to him last Friday 
on the Morning Monarchy on January 6th because he and also Apollo Slater, these are all friends of the media monarchy and independent alternative media community, they collaborated on something called BitChute, like Bitcoin or BitTorrent. BitChute is a peer-to-peer -peer video site. It's basically our alternative to YouTube. So I've got about a 15 minute interview with Ray Vahi about the building of BitChute and now it is up live, BitChute.com. And yes, it is difficult to get good URL names. It's up, it's going, it's got Corber Report, it's got myself on there, it's got our friend Matt up in Idaho of Convince Yourself Media, it's got media made by you and we are filling it up. And for more on the stats about actually how it works under the hood, again, we'll include that in the show notes. Our buddy Brock in the land down under again. Okay, so we're down in the underground. We're down in the underground bunker. We've got our own farms. We've built our own broadband. We've built our own YouTube. And an 88-year-old created a super-powered machine to knit thousands of socks for shelters. So we've also got socks as well. That story originally coming out of the CBC. Now, of course, we got to get down to the nitty-gritty. We're gonna have some music. David Bowie's final recordings were released just a couple of days ago, and again, he's always <laughs> continuing to pull off magic tricks even beyond the grave. No Plan looks to be the final recordings David Bowie ever made. It's just a four-song EP called No Plan, and it came out on the singer's would-have-been 70th birthday. Now, speaking of David Bowie also reminds me, I want you to check out my recent interview with Thomas Sheridan, where we talk about the death of celebrity, but it's not that dour. We also talk about a few years of tranquility as well. We also are looking forward to talking to our new friends, the Freds. That's right, right said Fred. They are celebrating a 25th anniversary of the song You Know, and they are about to drop a brand new record and a brand new single, and we hope to be talking to Richard and Fred of Right Said Fred very, very soon on Morning Monarchy, and we are stoked about that. They are stoked about vinyl records hitting a 25-year high in the UK. We talked about that story as well on your last Friday Morning Monarchy. They are hard to find, but the people who do have them have already started hacking into the little NES classic. It's basically a closed system where they pre-programmed 30 games on it. Of course, people have popped it open, are now hacking it, and are adding more games to it. I would like to request that you add Maniac Mansion to it and send it to Media Monarchy, P.O. Box 12182, Portland, Oregon, 97212. Kidding aside, some of our last few hashtag good news next week stories. Again, we're in the underground bunker, farming, broadband, YouTube, music, and of course, video games and weed. Landmark state court ruling says THC in the blood is not sufficient enough to get you pulled over and call you a Dewey. Also in weed news, legal marijuana sales reached over $6 billion in 2016 in North America alone. And the toothpaste is out of the tube. Let's just make sure we know where that money's going. Our last note on the weed and on the good news is a look ahead to the inauguration, which of course has lots of gritted teeth and lots of things to worry about connected to that. However, activists are rolling up 4,200 joints. That's 4200 joints to give away in a massive marijuana giveaway at the inauguration. Now, the District of Criminals has actually decriminalized to a great degree, as we've talked about in the last year here on Good News next week. So it is going to be mass civil disobedience in D.C., and that's how these things happen. You just do it. That's what's exciting about it. If you've got some of the good news next week stories and solutions, ideas, and ways that we are winning, we'd love to see them on the tweets at hashtag good news next week. And of course, if you're not on those controlled ghettos, we haven't built our own Twitter yet. We're, we'll work on that and work on our own Skype as well. You can always hit me up on email, james at mediamonarchy.com. We've been online since 9-11-05, and we are media brought to you by you. If you head on over to mediamonarchy.com slash support, you can find links to PayPal, and of course our Patreon account, patreon.com slash media monarchy. It's really the best way you can give us that monthly support that we need to keep going and growing. We do have Bitcoin in there, and yes, we do have a P.O. box as well, as we appreciate your support. That's going to do it for episode 42 of Good News Next Week for the week of January 9th, 2017. Happy New Year. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Thanking you so much for watching and listening and reminding you, as always, my friends, like Jello Bianca said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. 
Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.